OK, so if we're looking at this, um, we have a sub 4 equals negative 18, a sub 7 equals 2 thirds, and n equals 6. So yes, we're trying to evaluate the expression at n equals 6, correct? That is when we're trying to evaluate the expression. Our problem is we don't know what our r is, our ratio. We know that a sub n equals a to the 1 times r raised to the n minus 1. Right? So if I want to find out what n of 6 is, I could easily plug in n of 6 if and only if I know what another term is, in this case a sub 1, and then the rate. In this problem, though, I do not know what the rate is. So I need to be able to figure out the rate. All right. So one thing just to notice, ladies and gentlemen, here's my two terms, n and 1, that what you're raising the power up to is just n minus 1. So it's just the difference in these two um, in these two values. So let's go to my case. I don't know what a sub 1 is. However, I can say a sub 7 is equal to a sub 4 times r. But then notice, I'm taking the difference of these two is my exponent. So the difference of these two is going to be, which would be 3, right? So therefore, I have a sub 7, which is 2 thirds, equals a sub 4, which is negative 18 times r to the third power. Now do I have an equation that I can solve for r? Yes, all right? So I divide by negative 18. Remember, dividing by, if dividing a fraction by a number is like the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal, which that gives me 2 over um, negative 54 equals r cubed. All right. Now, this reduces right, to 1 over 27, to a negative 1 over 27. Then, if I take the cube root of that, well, the cube root of negative 1 is just going to be negative, right? And the cube root of 27 is 3. So therefore, I get r equals 1, sorry, negative 1 third. So now I've figured out what r is. But I still need to figure out what 6 is, right? Still need to figure out what 6 is. So therefore, I now need to say, all right, a sub 6. But the problem, I don't have a sub 1. But can I use a different value? Can I use a different number? Yes, I could use 4 or 7. Which one would you like to use? All right, let's use 4. Equals a sub 4 times r. Now r, which is 1 third, times 6 minus 4. So we don't know what a sub 6 is. a sub 6 equals a sub 4, which is a negative 18, times a negative 1 third squared. Negative 1 third squared is 1 ninth. So a of 6 equals negative 18 times 1 ninth. a of 6 equals negative 2. Yes? Why, why <coughs> did you take the square root? Took the cube root. Why did you take the cube root? Well, the square root says what number multiplied by itself gives you that number, right? Yeah. Square root of 4 is 2. The cube root of 8 is 2. What that means is what number multiplied by itself three times gives you 8. So that's 2. How would you plug it into your calculator? I can show you guys how to do that in a second, just to go through this. Okay. 